when they announced who all was going to be a part of the upcoming Mortal Kombat reboot, everybody was very excited once they saw a rundown, and then they were rather disappointed when they saw that Johnny Cage was not on it. Now we know exactly why they decided not to include Johnny Cage. So let's get to it. As you can imagine, doing any press interviews or anything with anybody that's ever played anything in Mortal Kombat, uh, you know, you're gonna get asked the inevitable question of why isn't X fighter in this, and you need to have an answer. Johnny Cage is one of the most prominent ones. People want to know why Johnny Cage isn't in this. I mean, he's so recognizable that even people who aren't in tune with Mortal Kombat could point out that Johnny Cage is a part of that franchise. That's how you know he has mass market appeal. So naturally, every Everybody wants to know why in the world isn't he in this? And we got an answer from Todd Gardner. He said that it's all about the sequel. When you're thinking about the sequel, when you're thinking about what's coming down the road, you need to sort of have that uh, carrot on a stick mentality. And Johnny Cage is positioned to be in a sequel. He didn't say if it's part two if we get to it or part three. He's just somebody that's being saved for a sequel down the road. And I think this honestly does make sense because let's be real, you don't want to put all the biggest heavy hitters and big names into one movie and then you sort of uh, run out of steam when you get into the next. Let's save some big actors. Let's save some big faces. Let's save some big characters. And who knows, maybe the first film does so good that bigger actors want to get in on it. And then you can get a little bit more money to hire somebody that's a little bit more recognizable to do a Johnny Cage style role, which maybe they have in real life or something like that, right? Like one of those types of deals. So yeah, you know, um, I agree with this. Why not save some characters for the uh, inevitable so when it comes to it, who do you guys want to see as Johnny Cage? Do you think they go like pie in the sky and they're like, you know what, maybe we could get a Ryan Reynolds type that will really move the needle on, uh, you know, how big we can go? Or do they get somebody relatively unknown that's probably going to do their own fight scenes? Maybe it's somebody that's known to, you know, fans of martial arts movies. I think that's the route I would like them to take, but who knows? This, this is Hollywood. You got to get more eyes on the product. So a Ryan Reynolds type or something, uh, you know, a little bit more insane is probably what they're thinking.